put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina, I put the spotlight on your city. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spotlight Over the City. I'm your host, Stan Long, and I have my lovely, lovely Mrs. T-Bomb, a.k.a. Yeah, wife for herself hey. to the left. And also in the building, we have our other co guest co-host, the one and only Mrs. Lyric Hawkins. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we got a good show for you guys today. <laughs> Happy to be here. First of all, thanks to our listeners. Thank you guys for tuning in to WLVS and the whole Listen Vision family. What's going on, fam? What you got? Woo! It's, it's got Thirsty Thursdays. Thirsty, th okay. So thirsty right in line Thursdays. with Thirsty Thursdays. Okay, I'm quenching so my thirst. So you sipping a little bit today? Yeah, mm -hmm. What you sipping on, Miss? Okay, Long? what you got there? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special concoction. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That Anthony show left for me. Okay. Oh. Well, shout out to. Uh, and what's the name of the show? With Thursday Anthony. night tea. Shout out to the Thursday night Thursday tea crew night tea mm -hmm. with Anthony. Boss. And guess what? What? We got a heavy show, so we got to get right to it. That means I got to put my glasses on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> First of all, before we get into anything, let me just say happy, 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 happy birthday to my homegirl, Teray. Her, her birthday is today. I won't tell her age, but she's been a ride. I've been down with her for 25, 30 years. She's always been close to me, and I want to shout her out this day. I said I would. I've forgotten her birthday the last three, four years. So I said, this year, I will not only not forget, but I'll shout you out. So shout out to Ray. Happy birthday. Hope you enjoy. Happy anniversary. 10-year anniversary, J&B. Yeah. Hey, Happy 10 anniversary. Years? 10 years flew by really, really fast, right? I mean, it don't seem like it's been 10 years. What you think? Well, they had know. enough drama in the 10 years. To, they, yeah. You know. Well, elevator scene. The elevator scene was, that was that's enough. my favorite. That's fa yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite. Because I'm Solange. I'm really her. Solange. In real life. In real life. Beating Jay Z. Mm -hmm. Beyonce was back there like, get her, boo. Get right. Her. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's how that went down. But they made it through it, right? They made it through. So, yeah. You need to see the pictures up there, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jacob over there, sleep. I sent some pictures. Don't worry. It's okay. So, anyway. Yep. Yeah, y'all. They were asking me for the website to go on. Oh yeah, www.spotlightovertheCityLive.com. Live. Live, yeah. That Do way you guys now. get to see the commercials and the whole nine. Anyway, shout out to Sheila, Frank. What's going on, Cuzzo? You check Cuzzo. us out online. Everybody on Facebook. Shout out to the whole Facebook. That's right. Um, Safari. <laughs> it's some crazy news right here. My man Safari, man. I ain't really a Safari fan. I can't lie. This is how he looked before. I am. Yeah, okay, well, mm. I guess so. But I'm, I didn't see it, so I, I can't comment. Oh, I can, I can send it to you in your oh. inbox. Yeah, okay, so that's that. the after look. So uh, let me tell oh. you what happened. <laughs> Safari, Safari claims to be robbed. He claimed he got robbed at gunpoint. Mm -hmm. They took his chains and all this other buffoonery. This is what was alleged, allegedly. Well, sources close to me say that not only did he not get robbed at gunpoint, but he was robbed because he was strong arm robbed. Like they put them hands on him and just snatched mm. them chains and strong armed him. Not for any reason, just not, I mean, I'm sorry, not just for nothing. It was because he owed some back end money for oh. a production that he did, that they didn't pay. He didn't get, that the people didn't get paid on. And actually, one of these people is a friend of his. He's been arrested. What's this guy's name? Let me give you the whole, the whole scoop. His name is Sean Harewood. And Sean was arrested for this situation, but Sean, I'm, I'm assuming that Sean may have been one of the guys that's on the video surfacing on YouTube saying, we didn't put no gun to this Bama's head. We just strong-armed him, and he know what it is. We ran down on him, and if he don't get that bag to us, we're going to run down on him again. So they had his chain, and they were saying, you better pay us our money. So Safari <laughs> seems to be fraud, and he also seems to be soft, because I'm going to just tell you this, Safari. <laughs> If you are a person that's walking around with two, three hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on, then yeah. you got to be built a certain way, Safari. Really you can't be soft tall. because you look like a meal. So people out here hungry, Safari. And I'm not telling you that I'm condoning this, but what I'm telling you is you have to be yeah. street smart. 
And so if you're not a street person, then you can't look like a street person because we call that false flagging. So you got to be able to come out here and really be who you say you are because you're going to get tested, Safari. And if you get tested and you ain't gangster, Safari, then they're going to own your chain and you're going to have to buy it back. So on to the next, Safari, because I don't believe you. I think you got strong on me personally. Mm. He doesn't look that. What you think? Thorough. I mean, he may have gotten strong arm, but some of the comments that I read today really, really enlightened my day. One person said Safari should track down all of their wives or girlfriends and do it to them and, and mess up their uterus. So, again, I don't know what all of this is about because I haven't seen it, Lyric, but I'm just saying. I've seen the video. They're saying Safari. that could be Safari's payback. What y'all think? Track I down seen. all their women, all the rob people that robbed him, get their women. I've seen Safari's video. Mm. Okay, so anyway, I don't care about Safari video. So we're going to move on, Drake. Hey, hey, Congrats. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, I ain't hating. It's just that that's not a man's thing. You know, and I'm not, I'm mean, not into that. The ladies so. was talking about. Okay, you ladies, know. go ahead. Y'all continue. Y'all, Again, y'all I, saf- I didn't got see news it. To do here. Y'all got Safari's oh. penis on y'all mind this morning? That's I, what you, I, I, mean, didn't, I didn't see it, and, you know, I heard about it. Well. well you got enough on your plate right now. You shouldn't worry about another man's penis. Just worry about the Ooh. one you're dealing with. That's all you got to worry whoop, about. Whoop. You good. You got your hands full. Well, I ain't nothing on my plate. My I'm going to worry about it. <laughs> so anyway, on to Drake. Congrats to Drake for having two, not one, but two number one top Billboard 100 hits in 10 consecutive weeks. It stayed there. Yeah. So two of them did it. Now, most people, I think only one or two people have done this before, but only... Only him has done it twice. I don't know that no one else has done it twice. Ten consecutive weeks. So shout out to Drake. That's kind of big, right? Is big. First of all, you got to be something to get on Billboard 100. Uh, you got to be making mm-hmm. some noise to get on there. Right. But to be top 100 uh, for ten consecutive weeks twice, he did it once in 2000. Uh, what did 2016? He did it with uh, One Dance. I need a One Dance. You know that. And then he just did it again. With uh, God's plan, right? That's mm-hmm. the new one he did it with God's plan. Y'all like my singing? He did it with. <laughs> you love him, don't did, you, Terry? He did it with I God's do. plan. I do. T bomb, I need him. one dance. Gotta I have mean, a scene in I my have hand. to, right? You have, have to. Time for I, go. I know you really. Hey, yeah, yeah. I was that like that. That remind me of a little homie that was on a cruise. He was singing that. Do you remember? In the elevator that yeah, time. Yeah, baby, but but don't do no. that. Don't sing. <laughs> no. Please. You don't. No. I thought you love my She's singing. I've never told you that. I so told why you, you keep encouraging I love me to a sing lot again? of things about you, but I have never encouraged you to sing. I've actually asked you to not do it. Remember, I told you the you other day. I said, you f- "This fake news." Fake. <laughs> not this no, fake you news, didn't sir. Say fake news. Yeah, for real. Because behind closed doors, let me let me take my glasses off for this one. Behind closed doors, this one right here. You're under wor- oath. Yes. She worries me to death about my singing. And one night, we was in the bathroom. Now I can tell it. One night, we was in the bathroom having our little sing-off. I and have guess the what video, happened? so don't Crazy. play. We was in the bathroom having a sing-off. And you know what Terry stopped and said? She said, you know what, babe? You really can sing good, and I do really like your singing. I just be messing with you. Did you not? Now, put your hand on that Bible right there. I had motive. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to make a baby. Okay, so y'all know. I'm going to sing before the end of the show today. So before we go any further, I'd like to say shout out to the sponsor, DeMarco Solar himself. Got me looking fly as usual. Make sure you guys get over there to Forestville Mall and check out Big D. Tell them Spotlight sent you because they got some new gear. And I was over there last week. I was over there a few days ago, actually. And they got some whole a whole new line of stuff, a whole bunch of new sweats, a whole bunch of new T-shirts. And when I tell you it's fly, this is upscale. This and is you upscale. you be looking real fresh with that on. Real yeah. fresh. DeMarco Solar. DeMarco Solar, Forestville Mall. You did already you, know. Did you ask what I asked you to ask, though? What you need, about the, the women's urban undergarments? De, it's like, I want some DeMarco Oh, you want Solar. DeMarco Solar Spanx? Spanx. Mm-hmm. Well, he, I don't know <laughs> that he ask? has That's that. all I want to know. Did you ask? I didn't. DeMarco I didn't. makes Spanx? DeMarco, do you make Spanx? Big D, yeah. wifey want to know if you can make her some Spanx and some hip huggers. Yeah. So when she get to walking and wear her fanny pack, mm-hmm. that it'll all be in together. Like tight, like that, with the yes. fanny pack. Yes, yeah. I do. So I anyway, no... I, I hate oh, to report oh. this. What's up? Let me be more professional and take my gum out. They say it stopped. Okay, yeah, this one right here pisses me off to the highs of pissativity. But we have to report news with media, right? 32-year-old Mark Jenkins was arrested and charged with the murder of his girlfriend's three-year-old daughter um, because he was left with her for two stinking hours 
And the, the, the mother went out and handled some business, left him with this idiot, come back home, and he done beat the daughter to death. Um, she had major bruises and damage to the abdomen area and other things they haven't discussed in the media because they're still doing an autopsy on this young lady. And I cannot fathom leaving my home and trusting someone with my child and coming home and my child has been beaten to death. Um, mm. I, don't, I don't get that. I really, 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 really don't get that. So he's, he's been arrested and he's facing 25 to life in prison. Good for him. It's not going to be good life. enough for me. You beat a three-year-old to death. Like, like okay, that's what where the mental... I guess that. that's where the mental health part comes into mm. play. Like, I, I need to talk to Dr. Cheryl Nevison. Cheryl, if you're out there, we need some help on this one. She on there. I want to know, Cheryl... Hey, this is my sister. Shout out to Cheryl. I want to know, Cheryl, what makes a person... Well, I guess it's hard to say because it'd be many things. It's, but this yeah. is, a, in my mind, because this guy's also been arrested for attempted murder, and he did some time for that. He's also had some mm. other charges, uh, physical assault charges and this and that, um, that he didn't do time for. But this one right here, he's going to face some time. My whole thing is, what drives you to that? Right. Like we, we're not talking about a 30-year-old or a 20-year-old that stole your stash or set you up and got you robbed. This is a three-year-old child. So the worst thing could have happened is they aggravated you with crying, crying or making or noise like or getting that. irritating you, but you beat them to death. And so yeah, I, so yeah, I have no I hope words that for that. When you go to the penitentiary, that they deal with you severely. Oh, they gonna get you in the penitentiary, and I hate that. You. I hate to even project that on people. Oh, what's going but when down? it comes to this type of situation, this this in particular, it kind of irks my nerves really, really, really super bad. So they anyway, I'm going to move em. on. They're going to get them. This one was crazy, too. <laughs> a minister. This is a pastor, you guys. Check this out now. My WLVS, listen, check this out. A pastor down in Georgia. This is a pastor at New Beginnings International Outreach Ministry. <laughs> wow. He got caught trafficking drugs and guns, right? And he's facing 10 years in prison. Actually, he just got sentenced to 10 years in prison. For this situation, his son was also involved up until last September when his son was brutally murdered. Um, mm. So um, he was no longer in the game. But this is a pastor, a full-fledged pastor of a church, New Beginnings. Maybe the tithes were low. And you think that's what the it was? and offerings. So mm. I'm going to need y'all to get them ties up at New Beginnings <laughs> because we don't want no more <laughs> gunplay right, down there now. Do and we definitely that. don't. Now, so when they came in this young man's house, this young man, <laughs> this young man had 20 guns. Yeah. He had AR magazines and if you guys don't know what an AR is, an AR is an assault rifle that's uh almost a, a automatic. It's semi-automatic, but it's an assault rifle. And so he had a bunch of AR magazines and all that kind of stuff. And also drug paraphernalia, 20 guns, blah blah blah, money, the whole nine. This is a pastor, mm. right? He also was known to have a handgun, automatic handgun. Uh, next to his Bible. He's and it, Yeah, he was 100 with it. So wow. The this gangster is, pastor. Hey, man, Cedric Minor, man. Cedric was down there in Georgia doing this one too, right? Wow. Yeah. And so that's what that's and what let happened. let the church say. Yeah, <laughs> hey, amen. hey, let the church say amen. Let the church like, say amen. Hey, so um, what do you think? Like, pastors are human, right? The tithe money may be slow. A lot of people not paying tithes. A lot of people not going to church. A lot of people lost their jobs the whole nine. So the church right. is suffering with right. the tithes. That is fact. Right. And so I don't know that this is a situation that he started. I know I'm making jokes, I'm making light of it because right. of what you said. But actually, the situation is is basically different than that because this gentleman was already trafficking for a while. Like he, they say he was ten toes deep in it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Save all that whoop de whoop. Yeah. Let the money talk. Let the ooh wop shoot. That's what he was saying, right? So anyway, moving on. Fourteen year old. I don't even know what to say. What are you saying after that? Right, nothing. I'm a nothing. rapper too, though. Yeah, I rap part time. Yeah, I'm um, a, shout what, out to what's, Jay. What's next? Did you say shout out to Diddy? Jay. Uh, you say no Diddy. I don't shout out Diddy. I ain't a no Diddy dude. Oh, I like Diddy. Though. Do you? Yeah. You like bisexual dudes? Ooh, he's not bisexual. Did you just call him out like that? I yeah, mean, he's, he's bisexual. Not, no, he's not. Where you get that from? I said he's bisexual. I, I That's got, my I got, I got. Where you get that from? I got inside play on it to say that Diddy is bisexual and Diddy been playing with men for a long time in the industry and it's a known situation amongst the Boy, industry. Where you gonna stop that? I mean, it's very, this? very known in the industry. It's not a secret at all. No different that we knew Eddie Long was gay. Like it's the same thing. It's not like a secret. So it may be a secret to you guys because y'all uh, still like Diddy. Clutch the pearls. But yeah, uh, <laughs> actually, most of your rappers are gay or uh, bisexual or headed that way. Like that's uh, not a that's just the movement. It's a feminist movement. Why is that a secret to you? 
Diddy's one of the head of them. So most of the Ciroc boys that he hugging on, he pumping on. <laughs> but we moving wow. on. Yeah, I said that too, though. I meant that. So anyway, yeah, I stand by that. So they can see me about it. I meant it. Yeah, that's right. Spotlight over the city. They that's the news report. Yeah, I don't have no problem. Nobody doing nothing with me. So at the end of the day, Diddy is is uh is playing Trixie and footsies with other men sometimes, but then he also has girls. So, you know, that's the way of society today. Why is that a secret? Why is everybody looking goofball? Why why are everybody like what? What? I mean, I, I'm not shocked by it. It's just, you know, it's not something that oh, is like just out the there though. Girls. Oh, it's not? No. No. It's not. But it well, doesn't doesn't surprise. Well, who told why is it not out there in the magazines? It's on a lot of people's social medias. It's oh, it's all that. over and, and yeah. So like this has been known. It's all over YouTube. It's been they showing him hugging on different people, Steve Stout, this one and that one. Yeah. And almost putting his tongue in their mouth. It's not like it's not like a secret. He's almost openly bisexual. He's he's right right there, like right on the cuff. Like one more Ciroc, and he gonna tell it. Uh, one uh, more. If he take a peach Ciroc, if he drink stuff. peach, what y'all think? Is it, is it real? I'm not believing this stuff. How many people y'all, have heard the same thing that I'm saying? Is this something new to social was, media? Was, is this was bisexual? Because when I tell you this is very very old news to me, this is years and years old. Like this is not yes. nah yes. <laughs> facts. Yes. Okay, check for me. Anyway, this is a part of the program that I love. I saved this for last, and I saved this for last for a reason. I saved this for last because this is something that I want to do every single week, and it's called Spotlight Shining Star. Spotlight Shining Star is a person who has done or doing something really great, great in the community, and it's exceptional, right? Because we talk about bad things. We talk about yep. killings. We talk about babies dying. We talk about all these things that makes me sick. So I, I try to end it with something that's going to be positive, right. right? Something positive. So Spotlight Shining Star is just that. So today's Spotlight Shining Star is a 14-year-old, uh, Jayera Griffin. And she's an honor roll student at Washington Junior High School um, in Riverdale, Illinois. This young lady, single-handedly, she's a tutor and she's an honor roll student. She's on eight, and only in eighth grade. She decided on her own on her own merit, to save and also do some philanthropy work and raise over $900 just so she could go to the laundromat and pay for the low-income people to be able to afford to wash oh, wow. their children's clothing. Because as a tutor, she was tutoring, right? And the people that she was tutoring, I guess they had a little older. You know, they would smell a little rank. Mm -hmm. And so they were young, you know. And so she decided they can't help it. That's they major. they not washing their clothes, so right. they don't they may can't afford it. So she took the nine hundred dollars and went to her community laundry and decided to disperse the money and help them to be able to afford it, it, and then go to the people who weren't there yeah. and give them the money to go to the laundromat love to it. get their clothes washed to help these young children. That's major. Love eighth it. Eighth grader. Yes. Fourteen years old. Kudos to her. So yeah. our today's shining star is definitely. J J Jayera, Jayera Griffin yeah, from Griffin. Riverdale, Illinois. I Shout like out to that. you. Yeah. Amazing, 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 yeah. amazing, amazing work. Definitely. So we, we definitely always want to spotlight people like her. These are people that we look up to in the That's community. The These are children, yeah. you know, and they said the children shall lead them. Like, the children are doing a lot of work out here today. Mm -hmm. Right across the street. Shout out to everybody over there sitting in that Howard hey, University. You? Um, not playing with the you? with them people no. over there <laughs> because when I playing. say they're not playing over there with not them people, they said we're gonna sit it out until we get some change. And I heard yeah. yesterday that they have decided to make some changes. They did seven out of nine. Seven out of As nine. Of this morning they got seven out of nine. The two that have not been changed is you know getting rid of the president and the people on the board. Those two things. Haven't happened. I don't know if that's gonna go down like that. Let's go to our, let's go to Facebook and see what they're talking about on Facebook. Hey so, everybody. Who we got? Well, on Facebook? make sure you share this to your page. Everybody's everybody saying go, here, Miss share, Griffin. Share. Oh, what's up, Tom? Share it to all your friends. What's happening, Mr. Nelson? Shout grandma, out to him. To your neighbor. Share. Shout out to Dana. Spread Dana word. said. Shout out to Dana, definitely. What Dana say? Dana Carter. Okay. Dana Carter her said too. she clutching her pearls because she can't believe that about Diddy. Are you serious right that's now? That's what I'm saying. That's, that's why, what people Why is saying. it that it's so hard for people to understand that a lot of these little dudes are switch hitters and a lot of these dudes do... The industry is definitely not what you guys think anymore. The industry is doing some things. If I could just talk candid, and I can't because... <laughs> 
it's gonna it's not gonna be cool. You gonna have that. If, if I could talk if story. I could talk candid for a minute, I could tell you guys some things that's going on in the music industry and in the entertainment industry in general. That I think that most of y'all, if y'all can't believe a simple thing as Diddy being bisexual or on a download, whatever the hell you want to call him, I know that the things that I would display here on this show would really have people like, oh my God, is he serious? Like so, yeah. I'm so. talking about everybody from Trey Songz. No, no, to you don't Lil have Wayne, to go there. You don't have to. So like, all of these type nah. of people are doing these things. Why are you guys thinking that's something strange? Okay, name the thorough ones that ain't like that. Give Stan me. Long. I said the rappers. I'm a rapper. You, you're not a rapper. <laughs> Save all that whoop de whoop. Yeah, I, you don't want me to get started. So anyway, you guys, tune, make sure you tell me what you think. Am I saying something that's crazy, or am I saying something that's already known in the public? Ooh. What do you guys think on social? Don, am I saying Stan something that's crazy? Diddy was or am bisexual. I saying something that's So a lot of these guys that you guys, are, you you women are running up behind yeah. a bisexual, you just don't know it. Yeah. Y'all think that these men are straight Don because they got Timberlands in a hat back. I got a crew on you my got it timeline that don't believe it. Don don't believe it. Um, Dana Carter don't believe it. They just and that's all not, good. I'm not here to convince anybody, but you know, I just it, I just know what I know. Who is your source? So a lot of people in this industry are just <laughs> like that, right? Who is your source? And so like, why? So what I'm telling you is. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm telling you is, y'all seem to be out of touch if y'all oh. don't understand that that's what's happening today in the industry. Period. I'm talking about period. That's a big, big deal. If your deal is huge, you probably been doing some things that's that's not cool. Dr. Neverson I'm just said, telling you right now. She doesn't care. I can't take She's it. like, I don't even care. Sure, I don't so. care. <laughs> so, so at the end of the day, I mean, like, weigh in. Why is everybody quiet? I need some energy. What is going on? Why are everybody sitting on the set not, looking like don't no, nobody had nothing no, to say about I, it? I, I, look. And then we get off the set, everybody. Blah, 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 blah. No. So what's going on? Why? What's, okay, what's, what's happening? The thorough ones I are. said that's, that's I not. I don't find what are it. the thorough the thorough people in the industry to me are people like Yo Gotti, um, Gucci Man, um, Rallo. Um, those type of people, uh, it's not many. It's not many. It's not many thoroughbreds in the industry anymore that's not switching. I'm telling you that right now. I don't know what's going on. Wow. So you can that's... see it spilling over. You see these young thugs <laughs> and you see all these people coming in the industry. You see them. They done always wearing dresses and everything now. So you still think they thorough even with the dress on. Kanye wear a dress? Is he? Same story. It's the same story. Yeah. It's the same story. Easy, a little sensitive. <laughs> I don't know different. what's wrong with. I don't know what it is that y'all don't understand this. Like it's not. I'm not. This not like fake news. This is real. Like this is exactly what's going on, and this is exactly what's going on also out here in the street. Man. What's this? Now see, Ti oh, another thorough oh. one. If, if Ti is a switch hitter, then I'm just gonna throw the towel and say. <laughs> is that a switch hitter? Yeah, he's not. Yeah. If Ti, not. T, shout out to Ti too. I think he's one of the real he, ones left. He is real. Shout out not to Jeezy, Jeezy. Young Jeezy. Jeezy. That's young Jeezy. That's another one that I don't think. I don't think is that way. Um, yeah, I think that uh, most most people in the industry are switch hitters. Well, okay then. Damn. So speaking of switch hitters, why we don't? Somebody, Don said stand for real fake TMZ. That ain't right. no fake news. I just broke the news. I'm one of the bold ones. I'm one of the bold people so you that broke the story. I, I'm breaking the story <laughs> breaking in news. case you guys haven't breaking figured news. it out right yet. Yeah. And I'm gonna just tell city. you this too. A lot of the guys that you women are out here dating switch hitting. Now I'm just telling you what? right now. A lot of you women don't understand what a thoroughbred really looks like because you think that your man wearing Tim's in his hat back or his little Nike boots or whatever the hell he got on that he a thorough dude. That don't make him a thorough dude. His character make him a thorough dude. Oh, what happens when no. that camera not on make him a thorough dude? When he don't go home and rub his butt against another man, that's a thorough dude. When he not letting another dude lick him and suck him and do all that, he a thorough dude. Whoa, so now, what? for all you dudes that's out there, tonight, all you yo. dudes that's out there, because a lot of dudes out there right now say, if I do something to a man, I'm not gay, he gay. Well, I read that this week. If somebody said that, somebody. I Let read me just on, be clear. I read down on, um, uh, low, what's his down name? Low. Gilly, Gilly. If the you kid. do something with, a, if you do something, yeah, down Gilly. Low. I read Shout out on Gilly. His, he he Gilly put a post up this week saying a that somebody that's my inboxed homie. him. A man inboxed him and said, you know, hey, you know, <laughs> I, no, that's real. This is what happened. Yeah, it did happen. It said he told Gilly, you know, listen, I. I just, you know, let them do that to me. I'm never going to F a man. Never in my life have I ever F a man, and never will I. But this is like my guilty pleasure. I like yeah. the oral sex with men, but I'm not gay. This is this is the post. And I just, when I read that, I was just like, wow. So, but many men yeah. feel that way. 
They're so like, what do you guys I think? don't do anything with them. I'm not penetrating a man, so I'm not gay. But I let him suck it. Boo, you gay. So, okay. So let's weigh in. Let's you weigh gay. in a little bit. We waiting on our guests to come in, so we just gonna pass a little bit of time. We we waiting for Scooby to come, and we also waiting for Funny Man Skiba. We have that a great traffic show. out there. The traffic is, is crazy, so we just kind of waiting. You got the Nationals opening day, and you have the uh, the hockey team. What's the what's the team name? Um, the Capitals. The Capitals oh, are playing as well. I said a lot of married dudes are gay too. Yes, so a lot of women, a lot of women don't understand the demeanor of a man. They don't understand certain gestures of a man. So let me just show you something. A lot of men get married just because they don't want to be looked at as gay. A lot of men get married to have girlfriends just because they want something on their arm that shies them away from even being thought of as gay, right? A lot of men don't have no intentions on really, really being with that woman or it's just a pastime, right? And then they go and switch it at late nights or early mornings or whatever they go, and then the wife goes off and thinks that it's all good because he says he's a full-fledged man and he has children and this and that. Don't be fooled. I think I'm going to, like, you know how you come up with these inventions and your patents and things? Yeah. I'm going to come up with, like, a gay radar. Well, that would be... A gaydar. A gaydar. Yes! A gaydar. Okay. A gaydar. <laughs> a gaydar. It's already a thing? It's already a thing? I mean, that's a very, very common term. It's a common term, but they don't have a tool. To determine I who so is when I, and who's when not. I zap you, okay. it lets me know. Wait, wait, wait. Let's 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 let Jacob. Uh, said, but, you know, there's no chance that these guys are just bi, that they're gay. Now let me just let. I like well, that question. That is a good what question. What is the difference between a bisexual man and a gay man? Well, but a gay man only likes each man. And right. a bisexual man likes, likes both. Both. <laughs> yeah. I'm yes. confused. So That's in right, my Jacob, mind. You're right. Because in my mind, if you like men as a man, then you're gay. In my mind. I don't know the rhetoric. I don't know the proper terms. Say what now? If you like women too, then you're, like you are too, bisexual. So you right. Now, I'm, I'm understanding the word bi, mean two. My problem is if you're switch hitting, then you're gay to me. Because if you're attracted to another same sex, then how could you not be? grammatically wrong. Hey, cook. Okay. Right, okay. he can. You so can help, help me. whatever you want. That's why we had a platform. So, what but, are we but saying? But what you're saying but though is, mean both. Mike, I'll even get on the mic yeah, for that, you. Yeah. Jake, so talk to us. a, a talk man to us, or a woman can like both sexes, and it's called bisexual. Okay. If they do not like the other sex in any way, and they only like their own sex, then okay. that then is they're gay. homosexual. Okay. Right. So I'm address the women. Let's talk women. Let's talk candy for a minute while we wait on our guest. I like this platform. Let's talk a little bit. We're going to talk candy because we don't have our guests yet. We're still waiting. They're stuck in traffic. So let's air it out. If you women are so keen, like I think that you are, would you date a man that's bisexual? Like if a man came up to you. No. Now wait, wait. Because I hear what you guys are saying. He's not gay. So right away you say he's not gay. Cool. He's bisexual. He likes men and he likes women. So if a man openly came and told you that he has all the things, Lyric, he has all the things that you pray for. He has, uh, he's 6'3", he's dark skin, bald head, all this other stuff that you want. He's big brawly, make the money, he opening doors, he's doing all these things. Mm -hmm. And a month into the situation, you guys haven't had sex, you've just been dating really heavy, right? Rue, Chris, the whole nine. Okay, Scooby's parking. So then he says to you, well... I have to tell you something, Lyric. I also like men. I love women, but every once in a while, I play around on the playground with men. Now, I love you, I wanna be with you, and I can try to work with that craving, but that's my truth. What do you do? Ooh, the answer. Now, you've been liking them now, because y'all been really playing Sur tough for 30 survey days. Survey says, <laughs> Negative. It's a no. Okay, talk to me now. Why is it negative now? Because well, you, let me let me say this. He's honest. He's upfront. The honesty is great. He's gonna curve it. He's gonna he's gonna Look, stop with he the men. Can't thing. mess with a woman or a man if he's in a relationship with me. Let's just first get that out there. Okay. So you can't go outside of the relationship. Okay. Okay. You can't. But if you are sleeping with another man, you cannot sleep in my bed. 
That's a negative. <laughs> I can't even forgive you. But he's not okay. sleeping with well, another he's man. Not. He's just every now and then. This is his guilty pleasure. He just lets another man suck it or something. Yeah, yeah. see, because like you said, now if he's not he's not penetrating, he's just allowing a man to be with him in a way, oh. right? So now that's, that's, like that's foreplay. His, that's still well. Cheating. That's his guilty pleasure. That's like cheating. So I'm just asking he's not you. Cheating. He right. has in the past, and he's right. telling you this because oh, he wants past. to be honest with you. Yes, he's telling oh, you, no. I'm gonna curve that. He's now been that I've you, I've been delivered. Like, uh, what's the boy? He's been delivered. Donnie McClurklin. I'm Donnie McClurklin. Delivered. I've been delivered. And so now, all I want you to do is forgive me for that part because I have to be honest. I don't want no man to come up and, and make you not, you know, I want to be open. That's what he's saying. I want to be open. Don't, don't so, look good, champ. He's now he's not doing it now. Don't, don't, That's his past. Don't. Everybody has a past. Remember y'all Everybody women say do. that? They do. No. That might be wrong. Hand nobody. No. Okay, wife. It's a no. It's, it's a no. no. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, even it's open. He's fine as wine. He's all this stuff you're looking for. He got the bag up. He's no, all thank this you. stuff. No, thank you. No, thank Skiba's you. Skiba's in the building. Skiba's Shout out in Skiba. the building. And so, what's happening? And so, uh, we're going to go to a commercial. We're going to get right to it because we're running out of time. Yeah. But before we go, Jacob, talk to me. What do you think? Would you date a woman who's been with women in the past? Yes, yes. he would. Yes. yes. He, he has a yes, double yes, yes, and yes. I would Is date a gay? woman who's been with another woman, wants to be with other women, and got a... Girlfriend, whatever. And so, so, it's, 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 so re- if I tell something. you that I want to get with another woman just every now and then, it's just my guilty pleasure because she is sexy and da 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 da. Am I gay? <laughs> no. <laughs> but if a man tells you that, then, no then he's gay. Yes. So there's a double, a double standard. standard. It's a double standard. It's a double standard because. I look at Stand, two men. Stop it. Go to commercial. Uh, no, Just I'm not. Stop it. Yeah, we I do look, have to I look, go to look at I look at two men different like, than I look at two women because women are more well, sensual. That's a women, I, opinion, that's all I'm giving. They ask me my personal opinion. That's what I got. But I do so, I do get it. We, I do understand. And it, so it's a double standard. But women are different. They hold hands going to the bathroom. They blow kisses mm, and we all this kind of stuff. Smack each other on the Y'all butt. Y'all touch uh, boobs and butts. If we get drunk butts. enough, we might Y'all grind on each other on the dance floor. See that? Listen to my wife. So that's a, that's lesbian tendencies right away. So this is what I'm this is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I mean, and he so, love it, y'all. Maybe y'all get that and look. So I don't know one man, man that's gonna be honest enough, yeah. that's honest and, and gonna tell you that he's not with that. If he tells you that, then it's maybe some exceptions, but for the most part, men find that attractive. We don't look at it as gay. It's a double standard because actually it's not morally right, but I'm just being honest because I'm honest. Right. That's shout out to Lisa Renee. So shout out to Mama everybody Rita. in the chat shout room. Out shout everybody. out to everybody we'll on be Facebook. Back. We're going to a we'll be right break. back. We can go to a commercial because we got the homie <laughs> Skiba in the building. We'll be right Skiba back. Spotlight on the city. I put the spotlight on your 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 city. See those superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATL, D. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina, I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See those superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See those superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina I put the spotlight on your city. Breathe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. I'm your host, and you already know we got a, a plus one. 
Funny man Skiba. Skiba. Hey, Skiba. what's up, building? You already know. Let's clap it up Skiba. one time for the yeah. funny man himself. I'm here. In the building. I made it. You already Skiba. knew. Skiba. You already Skiba. knew. Skiba. Uh, tragedy traffic. Hey. That's it. That's what I said. Hey, bro. Yeah. We just happy to have you in the building. Yes. Man. It's yes. a pleasure. I feel, I, you know what I'm saying? I feel the, the, the joy. The in love. Day, man. The love. The yeah, passion. Yeah, man. You love. know, we keep it all yes. love. Keep it lit and keep yes. it love. You know what I'm saying? And, and, keep... and it's so good to see a married couple that can work together you know what I'm saying? Just, just do things all together. Like, I'm watching like y'all, that. and I'm seeing it. I know y'all ain't been married that long. So, me being yeah. a vet in that, in that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and being That's right. You got some advice you know, for that, yeah, Skiba? Oh, I'm, 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 15, I'm about 15 in. Maybe yes, have, yes, uh, yes, September, yes. September 20th will be our 15. And that's major. Hey, that's friend. major. Yeah, you because won't... see, I, I look at it like this. And when you get over six and seven, you in. It's done deal. I it's said a, it's, that. It's if you can get so the, you got to at least get to six. Six. If you six. get past six, I told you, six is the year. It's done. If you now, can get past now, six, now you just do things spontaneously. You just do things that don't even know you're doing it. Now, you sit at the edge of the bed in your drawers, <laughs> and she put your outfit on. <laughs> That's it. You sit there in your drawers. And wait for the outfit to come. Outfit to come. Hey. Look, look at that. Look, look, look. And your feet swinging. Hey. And your bed big. If you hey, got a twin bro. bed, your feet be like downstairs. Come on, I don't need to be on. <laughs> you know. Hey, Skiba. So, yeah. but the first six years, though? Six first years. First six years, so those the are the toughest? rough times. What's the toughest years? Like, uh, the toughest. I say of, about the fourth. The one through four? One through four. It's, temptation, uh, uh, everything will come at you. The, Satan is busy. Wow. I mean, yeah. he's going to yeah, test the gangster. He gonna even, test. Though, even though Jesus got him on the leash. Let's go there. Yeah. Even though Jesus yeah. got him on the leash. He just give him enough leash where he can tamper with everything. So what he going to do is he going to tamper with your happiness. Because see, one thing about happiness is sadness. Because it's, it's, everything is opposite. Mm, so that's it's right. like, it's going right. to test, test your will. It's going to test your will of, of, of faithfulness, mm-hmm. uh, uh, honesty, mm-hmm. and the number one key, loyalty. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Loyalty. Because yes. see, that's the thing that right now in this time and age, loyalty is something that is just so hard to, you know, maintain or just try to get out here. But in a, in, in a marriage, it, you, you become, see, one thing, and this is what I want to say is me and my wife, we want to work on this book. And I, and I, and I already got my name. Mm-hmm. And it's called um, In Your Circle. Okay. okay. What I mean about that is um, a cousin of mine's named Vincent, he's like my brother, uh-huh. straight from Southeast. Black as I don't know. He's so black. <laughs> when I look at him, I think my eyes closed. He's that black. <laughs> he blue black. He blue black. Purple. Uh, so he, what I noticed when um his 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 father, I mean his wife's father was a pastor. He passed away, rest his soul. He said, You are a circle. And I mean that in the unity of both of y'all. Yes. You're a circle. You don't allow no one in your circle. I don't care. Family, mother, yeah. father, anyone. I'm, I don't care who it is mm-hmm. in your circle. It's just both of y'all in that circle. I don't care because anything y'all go through, it should be y'all too. Not mm-hmm. nobody on the side. Heck with people's opinion because right. see, every, it's like buttholes. Everybody got. That's they right. want somebody. Everybody got opinion, but the opinions that matter is both of you all. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it takes it takes both of y'all because y'all both the one that. That problem happened. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So nobody else going to understand that problem. That's right. Yep. So what y'all have to do is work it out. Because one thing me and my wife always believe is we never going to go to bed angry. Yeah. And we never going to separate because separate in the house. And what I mean by that is sleep in another room. You sleep on the couch with all that bull. You know what I'm saying? Nah. That's yep. right, Terry. So you can't be putting me in the basement and all that. Nah, kind of man. You, you got to stop it. Right <laughs> you got you to gotta stop it right now, damn it. You got to. That's I it. Have it's the last day, Terry. No more basement stuff, in the basement. You gotta cut it out. Do that though. Let's go yeah. get the time. You know what, Lyric? Ever since he turned fifty, he be telling lies like this. Like, <laughs> I think that's the age on that. Because oh, oh, that's wait. when it started. Wait, wait a no. minute. Yes. Hey, Scooby, I need you to come he help. He lied about hey, his singing. Hey, 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 we gotta get Scooby on it. We gotta get Scooby on set. My hey, man, Jessica. Scooby in the building. Hey, we got Scooby in the building. I want to salute this dude. I want to salute this dude. Hey, this dude was so funny in the play. What your man won't do? I forgot that he was a band member. Man, hey, this dude. This dude was so funny. I didn't know Scooby could act. Hey, let me tell you. So Nobody not knows. only did Scooby Dude. act though, when I say he murdered it, Scooby it. man, Scooby when he killed he, he like opened with a up. was Jeff. He was Jeff. Killed it. Jeff. He ain't kill it. Jeff. He ain't kill it. He killed it. So damn and the killed. award goes to Jeff. 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 Frank yeah. Scooby Marshall. <laughs> and I'm hey, not, killed it. Because 
That's my man. Hey, let's get him on set. Hey, hey, Jacob. Um, we lost our um. Because he, he did we say on set. Calling Jacob. Calling Jacob to the front. APB hey, out for APB Jacob. for Jacob. Hey, so um, Skiba, you got an event. Yeah. Mike Brooks is yeah. the is it's the, the host. Okay. This is, this is at Meeks and Meeks. Uh, Waldorf. It's Meeks Lounge, Bar Lounge. Um, Mike Brooks been having it. And salute to Mike Brooks. Everybody go check Shout him out. Shout out Mike. On, uh, mm-hmm. At Mike Brooks. Um, this brother is very talented. Uh, Mike been doing comedy way longer than For like 55 and, years. Yeah, but, like it, but <laughs> this brother right here was you. one of the, the cats that inspired me to get into comedy. He yeah. was one of the cats between him, Joe Claire, Red Grant, Dominique, uh, Ted Carpenter, <laughs> S- Red to Grant, Ted. Dominique. Shout that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother. But uh, yeah, shout man. out to Ted, Ted Carpenter, because this brother, you know, what I'm saying he 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 took I me under his wing. Shout out to Ted Carpenter. Yeah. 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 I Y'all remember Ted. That's right. This brother, this that's VA, baby. That's VA. And nobody, nobody yeah. talking about. Yeah. This brother made his. This brother had yes. a black comedy club in Straight Chinatown. In Washington D.C. Come on, man. You could, no one I else remember. has done it, and nobody else on that could do it. Hey, Scooby, can you get that chair right there and sit right here next to Lyric? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I'm trying to get some order. So I'm trying to get Jacob to get him right there next. It's a it's a the chair like we it's all the way up there next to the thing. Yeah, yeah, because so they got new friends up in this. You know, yeah, we got some new friends and everything. This ain't no IKEA. We dead serious over here. Got the name on the furniture and everything. We serious up here. I mean, Scooby. No, we're going right here so we can be on camera. I remember, so, I remember yeah. last time I came here, it surprised. was like 18 people on one mic. Yeah, we ain't doing that, though. That's what we're not going to do. Yeah, Jacob, 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 Jacob. We need Jacob. Oh, With Jacob. Jacob. And Jacob White, too. I yeah. don't even know why he he disappeared. Normally, he be on time. He, he be on, on time. This is my homeboy, too. Jacob, Come on, number, Jacob. Maybe Jacob in the bathroom. Jacob, maybe Jacob, he had to do number one, number two, Jacob. You got and shout so, out to all the white people that's on their cell phones and traffic. Right. I hope you die. Well, we might have to <laughs> So at the end of the we day, got we got Scooby and is he Frank then? Yeah, yeah, we see Frank. Scooby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he in the building. Yeah, we got we got a Frank. So, Scooby. so at the end of the day, we got to squeeze him in because we, to give him in yeah, we got another Michael. We, we just got to find. We got to get my man out here. Me and so, so welcome to the spotlight, Scooby. We definitely want to welcome you to the fam. Oh, thanks for having me. So, man, first Here's of all, oh, you know what? <laughs> Is in the car. I was going to see wow. if we could real quick do the, you know, the song. I was going to do Giannis. We've part. been practicing oh. at the house. Not we, not me and her. <laughs> is it called me? acoustic? No, not acoustic. You. Acoustic guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. I've been, I've been practicing. Acoustic. I don't know what this be. I was just going to say acoustic guitar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> be, so some of the words will get trapped behind my lips. So if you, if it sound like that word you think it is, that's what it is. Yeah, he always talking about gooseneck, not gooseneck. What you got? The gooseneck? No, Skiba. That's not what Scooby I ain't a said, man. I ain't, I'm saying magician. A magician. I ain't no magician. You ain't no magician. <laughs> man. Look at me. You I know what? Some of these words much. are not going to come. As long as you know what it sound like, you oh said. So we got to drill Scooby a little bit because we got to right. do y'all together because yeah, of the time. Uh, right okay, so Scooby, this way. I, I got to know this first. Is this your first time ever on the stage? On for a play, stage as play? As a play, yeah. Uh-huh. You lying. So That's you ain't do plays in school lying. and stuff? You, nah. you ain't bro. do it like at the church? Like, you know how to get it all big? You ain't act in your bathroom or nothing. act on the honeys? Nah, the way I grew up, man, it was, it was either music or sports. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. like, being in plays, I know it's silly, but being in plays and stuff is almost like sissified a little bit. My neighborhood. I, 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 yeah. I feel you, know you know on that. So, I feel you on that. And it's stupid, but... If that's right. being, when you hear thirst, that's yeah, being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a thirsty so, dumb, man. You know, so, I, I mean, we, I think I always had the skills. I just... uh you know, let my wife tell it. I act all around the house all the time. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I do that too. Yeah, <laughs> but that's training though. You don't even know you, you training yourself. You train yeah. yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when I saw you hit the stage, man, mm-hmm. every they had gave me a warning, so I was already looking for you. They did. Lavelle, oh, yeah. they said Scooby going to yeah. burning. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah they was like, man, Scooby Word stole the, the show street. when you see it. Yeah. And so when you came out there, we ain't no respect. Okay. Cause I ain't know you was funny. Be honest with you. I, I mean, I didn't know the humor part. Cause you always looking serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So serious. when he came out there and started, it wasn't just funny. It was the kind of humor that it was. It was like this offbeat humor mm-hmm. that was just come from nowhere, yep. right? Right. And I was like, it was the whole show. Yeah. And I was just like, Scooby stole the show. Like, yeah. Did you do ad libbing? Man, I would say seventy percent of it was was ad libbing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's, See, that's even higher. I could tell it was yeah. natural. It was no, just but, the natural. Uh-huh. But, but, but when we was when we was in. The rehearsal, mm-hmm. and I'm just watching. You know what I'm saying? I'm just watching y'all. I mean, the scene when when I first seen you come out on the couch mm-hmm. with Genghis. Shout and out you Big just G sat too. There. Yeah, yeah, big shout out to Big G. I mean, when you came out there, man, you just said just like I mean, 
I was I was there. I was yeah. right there with you. I felt like I was right in the living room with y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? While y'all having conversations with each other because yeah. you just was on point with bow, 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 and, and, and just your whole mannerism uh-huh. and how, you know, your movements, everything. You, I mean, you felt the lines. Yeah. And then I mean, kind of you, I mean, I'm, I'm for real, you, you, you made, like, G feel comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Because Genghis, he, he, he kind of felt different because he was talking about how, you know, acting it's on, on, on screen in yeah. their play. It's, it's, right. a it's different, different kind of monster. Two monsters. different yeah. things. Yeah. Different kind of monster because there's things. no, yeah. oh, cut. Let's redo yeah. it. Yeah. 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 It, ain't it, no it ain't no cut. Yeah, yeah. Give me yeah. if you mess up, you got to keep on you gotta moving. Keep yeah. on. You got to keep and it you know moving. what made me feel comfortable was uh when, when Vernon told me, uh, we was in practice at his house, he told me, you know, I forgot a line. And I was like, oh, wait, let me go back and get it. He was like, man, nah, just 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 believe the role. Yeah. So once I once I heard that, I was like, yep. I was I know what he's trying to say. I'm just gonna put it in my own words. That's right. Or my own humor. So that's what that's what ended up happening with that. You did a really good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can put actor next to my name now. Yes, you should. You should. That's right. Don't stop that, man. Don't stop that. That's a dream idea. So Skiba, you too though. You did an amazing job, Skiba. Shout out to Skiba. He was also I was hoping hosting the play. He was the hostess with the Moses. And so you brought that Easter funny soon? element, yeah. and, and like when the party crashed, shout out to the party crash. When the yeah. party crashes, salute to the, stage, the party crashes, man. Them dudes, look, that whole crew is crazy. You hear me? Yes, they are. They they are show by themselves. So yeah. When I say them jokes, they didn't name. Yeah, they, they, they the party. They yeah, came yeah, to ass yeah. up here one day making all damn noise. Yeah. We try to have a show. He come up here with the damn thing and all that. <laughs> <laughs> so busted up the show. Yeah. Busted oh, up the man. show. Got my mother on the platform. Wow. <laughs> I say, look. But anyway. Oh, man. But oh, anyway. Oh, love party crap. Yeah. Love him, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Vernon's yeah. mother, Vernon mother came in the back. Mm-hmm. Came backstage. She didn't care about nobody back there. She wanted to dance she with him and everything. Yeah. I, I, I can't talk. <laughs> Who was them right there? I yeah. want to see them right there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it, I mean, party crashes. They, they, I give it to them. Yeah, we took we took a liking to him ourselves, yeah. man. Shout out to Vernon. Shout out to my cousin Lavelle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lavelle Long did a big thing, man. Yes, yes he so did. did. Vernon. They sold out the Lincoln. The play was amazing. It These was. guys, the whole cast, though, not just Scooby, no, not, not just Skiba hosting. Did. When I say everybody, everybody from yeah. KK to. I mean, the smallest part to the biggest Yana. part, everybody played Yana. their part, right? Yana's everybody. Song, when I say she's, that song, Scoop, Scoop. That's that, why I wanted the, to do it tonight. We, me and her was going to do oh, it. Man. No, 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 me and her. I'm saying, man, you, you, can, you can, listen. You're not going to box me out, Terry. Cannot, not <laughs> Terry, you're not going to take the spotlight. Now, that's it. I'm telling you right now, we're going to become Fried unbenefit. You. If you try to take the spotlight, we're going to become unbenefit. I'm just, I <laughs> just try to be <laughs> honest, baby. Shout out to Lisa Renee. You're she good played Miss Rita in the play. She's online, too. Yeah, yeah. Miss Shout out to Lisa. 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 Hey, Lisa. Yes. That's Shout my sister. Her. Scooby. That's my sister. That's your sister. Hey, Scooby, I didn't yeah. know that was your sister. That's your sister. I thought it was your wife she because of the last name. on stage, right? That's your sister, sister? That's your sister. Like, in real life. Yeah, same mother, same father. We party with them at the other party, too. Yeah. Yes. Real cool couple. Shout out to them, too. Congratulations on the engagement. But, but yeah. can I say this about the after party? Were well, you there? <laughs> go to hell security. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Oh, go to hell hey, hey, and I know this is what we got for security. <laughs> hey, all y'all and all that. Nah. I'm just going to say this thing. Look. <laughs> we gotta get you I know up. when you was a little kid, you we could did. play sports. <laughs> nobody, picked, nobody picked you up on no pickup games. And they took your ball. <laughs> anytime. <laughs> Everything. Now that you just got grown, got a little weight on you. And first of all, where I come from, the area I come from, Security worked out. <laughs> they they looked in shape. <laughs> you wouldn't even mess with them because their neck was so muscular. You right. you, ain't, right. you, you you didn't act up. They had that strong right. neck. Now yeah. you got your uncle standing at the door <laughs> with all black on, like he just a street dude, and he trying to tell you back up back when up. you're not even threatening because right. one of your teeth missing. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody already got to you. So pretty much, <laughs> all it takes is me to take the other one. Then we can even you out. But for all the security, <laughs> I, I can't take. Stop it. taking your job so personal. Go back to a uh, 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 Costco, Sam's Club, wherever you're working at. In the, during the day, yeah, you know, uh, you can't, yeah, you can't take check your receipt, yeah, right? Because your cousin, name not smoke or house or, or none of that. My yeah. cousin yeah. Ann put that, you know, did that party, and she did say, you know, the security that night was just they like, went too far. Whack. They was yeah. doing too much. How you gonna whack, tell me I'm whack, on the list? Whack. But don't let me in. I think sometimes when they hear go go, they they over, they gotta, you, go. you know what I'm saying? They overcompensate yep. for mm-hmm. what they think is supposed to be coming. Like, yep. We chill, man. We 40, 50 we, years old. Like, exactly. okay. I'm, in a, I'm in a lightweight suit. <laughs> okay. and outside, in the wind, actually showed up. And they with ain't your let socks you in. Yeah, the socks off. Look, hey, before we go any further, 
Because we done got crazy we in here. Got way and, yeah. and Scooby, I didn't have a chance. I, I, the pe- this, now, don't shoot me. This is the people's question. Uh-huh. This is something that everybody in the DMV been wanting to know. They've been wearing the hell out of me. We want to know what happened. Familiar faces. Mm. We know you guys were banging hard. Mm. You and Kim as well. Shout out to Kim. Miss Kim. Miss Kim was over there doing her thing as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We want to know what separated the situation. Um, it if wasn't. You can talk about it. It wasn't. It wasn't as personal as people made it seem to be. You mm. know what I mean? Like we had to sit down as men, um, Donnell and I, and uh, he he had voiced some opinions about me doing my own thing as far as playing different places as my as myself, gotcha. um, which I can understand. You know, this is he wanted to, he wanted to keep his band together. Yeah. So um, for me, I was just at a point with my, in my life where I, where I never really let nobody tell me when and where I can play my That's music. That's right. right. You know yeah. I mean? So You're we just came to an agreement. You know, at the end of July last year, I would, uh, you know, I would make a decision based on what I thought was best for me. So I Good made the decision you. to move so on. I have a question. Yeah. Frank Scooby Marshall, Frank Serious. Uh-huh. What, which yeah, who which are you? Who are you? Yeah, see, I'm, who, are you? I'm, who are you? That's a part of the acting thing. I don't know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I'm I like, um, who are you? Are you Frank Serious? Are you Frank Scooby Marshall? Well, see, let me, let me give you background. My, my dad's name is Frank. Frank Marshall. Okay. I'm not a junior, though, because his real name is Francis. Okay. okay. He'll kill me if I say that. But um, <laughs> <laughs> You said that. So he, 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 named, he got tired of people calling me Little Frank when I was a baby. Uh-huh. So I've been Scooby ever since I was one, two years old. Okay. So, you know, I've been Scooby all my life. Some of my teachers used to call me call Scooby. Call you Scooby. So... You know, when I got, um, that was my go-go name, if you will, growing mm-hmm. up. I've been in bands since I was 10 years old. So mm-hmm. wow. as I got to my R&B side, um, a lot of people don't know, 2012, I uh, reached number 86 on the top 100 billboards. I like that. For my R&B mm. stuff. You know what I mean? So Love it. I needed a name to represent, you know, like John Legend. Like that's right. Van that's right. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. So you that's could, where the series Patty comes LaBelle. from. Patti LaBelle. Yeah, yeah. So I, I always liked hey, uh, astronomy and, and space. So Shout I picked, out Sunny's uh, World. I picked Sirius. As one of the brightest stars in the sky. Mm. So I, love I love it. it. I, love I, it. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I told y'all it was Lincoln Theater, Ben's Chili Bowl, and Scooby. Oh, nah, you got about 20 Legend. other people before me. Nah, yeah. Scooby. Man, Bird. Nah, we, yeah. nah we, <laughs> hey, Scooby, I'm going to tell you something. Man, the city rocks. Y'all, with you, when I yes. say y'all city rock that night, too, that after the party the first time I heard you guys. Mm. And when I say you guys was stomping, rocking, and oh, winking, yeah. man, he got up there. <laughs> Ask some dude, they. Whenever back hey, y'all hey. and, and Wincy in the building, it's a party. It hey. was a party. When I for say sure. they were yeah. so lit, man, when I say they cranked so hard, when y'all put it in the pocket, we got to sweat and I, I had to mm-hmm. go sit down for And you still I, do shows with the Chuck Brown band too, yeah. right? Whenever yeah. they yeah. perform, yeah. he's a he's the lead singer with the Chuck Brown band. Yeah. Shout out to KK. Shout, Shout out, out to KK. Bethesda Blues out there. Y'all was at Bethesda Blues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once again, lit. So man, we just want to salute you, man, for everything yes. that you're doing that the city yeah. don't know about. We didn't, Appreciate we ran it. out of time. Any, it, yeah, anything well, coming up soon? Anytime. Yeah, we yeah, gotta get you back. Saturday, uh, Saturday, Chuck Brown band at the uh, anthem with Tricky Entertainment. Oh, at that's the, right. That's we right. Shout that. out Tricky yeah. Entertainment. We, we got that cover. That we'll be there. So Spotlight of the city will be in the building. We'll be on the red carpet. We'll be behind yeah. stage covering yeah. the whole event. Shout out to Black. Shout out to Raynard. The whole Tricky Inc. family. That's right. Also, definitely my baby. Give her give her information out. We got to get out of here. Give yeah, we got to get out of here. Out but to, I need y'all to, uh, to come and support me. My greedy side is coming out. Put the, and on it's Sunday. It's a pink flyer. Put the flyer up. Yeah, the, the, the uh, uh, Cupcake quick. Wars flyer. Yes, that's it. On Sunday the 8th. I am going to be a judge in the second annual Shoe City Laces to Bows Cupcake Wars. So I'm going to be a judge. I got to taste all kinds of cupcakes like all day. And it starts at 530. <laughs> it's going to be at the Festival Center in D.C. I really, the tickets are only $25. And they go to this foundation for young girls growing into women. So please Love try it. to come out and support. Buy a ticket online. The flyers um, on my on my Instagram. It'll be on our Spotlight It'll page too. So you guys can go to Spotlight over Sunday. the city. Uh, spotlight page and you can check out the flyer. Your girl T-Bomb and, um, gonna be eating awesome. cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> See, she's gonna be on there tanning up. This is Miss T-Bomb herself. She'll be up there eating all the cupcakes. Yes, I will. And this and that. But also, shout out to Laces the Bowls. And school, yes, you guys Justin. give out to our next event. We out of here. Yeah. So you uh, Every Thursday at uh, Paradigm, Paradigm, every Friday at to Tacoma Station. Every Thursday, we Paradigm. We're so old, Scooby. We don't we, 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 we sleep show. by 9 We, we got to get take a nap and then come out there and party. It's all good. Scooby, you let be, them know you what you're doing tonight. Tonight. Tonight, I'll be in ward off tonight. Come on out like y'all always do. Support my man, Mike Brooks. I'm headlining tonight at Meeks in Waldorf. And y'all can check me out 
on my Instagram. Just punch in. I'm. You can Google me everything Google at Funny baby. Man Skiba, S K I B A, and my wife's Lady Rice Delights. If you want custom oh, yeah, cakes, baby. you want. Uh, uh, we do. Uh, Catering, we do all types oh, of food. Uh, we, we we paint. Oh, yes, uh, yes, we got a whole. Yes. We, I mean, we, we got we do everything. You can go to ladyrightsdelights.com um, on the website, or you can go to all of um, social media. You can go to uh, at l lady right. Um, That's and, right. and get all right. that. You can get all that. So, all that and some, and some more. The Where they gonna find you, school? Real to. quick. Where they gonna find At you? Frank Sirius. That's S I R I U S on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Hit me yep. up. and Twitter. And make sure you guys get out there, man, and turn up with them. Because when I say they turn up, they turn up on some wrong folk stuff. Yep. Make sure tonight yes, you get do. out there and check out Funny Man Skiba, Mike Brooks. Shout out to yes. Mike. Yes. Shout out to that whole Meeks crowd. Mike they Brooks. gonna turn up tonight. Make sure you guys get out there and support. Um, and if you're on the other side of town, you go to Paradigm down there in Upper Marlboro and see Scoop. That's right. Make sure y'all do that. My house. There and it is. and the and the uh, and the Derby sold out. But oh, if you could right. tell me one or two things, what is the name? T uh, what what is uh what is Thaddeus Green's nickname? Or tell me what's the name of his company, and you can win two tickets to the Derby because you can't buy them. That's next right. week we'll have the. We, you better have those answers next you week. You disqualify because that's Sonny. it. No, Sonny, we you know can't you do. Know. Sonny, next you up, Sonny's World. Nothing. Shout out to the whole Sonny's World yeah. coming up next. We got we got to get out of here, you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Spotlight Over the City. We love you <laughs> guys you, a lot. Thank Hope you. Hope to see you next week. And until then, love hard, live good, God first. Yes. I put the spotlight on your city.